started. Okay. This is the second meal of last weekend's meals. It, it's been a strange week. Don't, don't judge. The reason I'm still in my uniform is because if I take time to change, I will sit down. And if I sit down, I will not have the energy to get up and cook. So we're just coming straight in the house and moving it on. Tonight is chicken scampi spaghetti. Except that it's not going to be really spaghetti. Because we're using the noodles because Daddy doesn't like spaghetti noodles. I am starting to have a very large collection of spaghetti noodles. Anyway, shall we begin? I have my chicken. I have a lemon. I have Parmesan cheese grated. I have garlic. I have cymbalta bread. I have cream and I have butter. And of course I have my noodles. So let's do this thing. Okay. All right. So we are making cymbalta um, cubes, which is interesting. I'm afraid to try and use my press thing, so we are going to use a knife. I am supposed to put them in one inch pieces. Yeah, I know this isn't generally the knife you use for that, but hey, don't judge. Seriously, don't. It has been too weird of a day to judge. All right. I'm going to get a big bowl to put these in so they don't float around. All right, so there's my bread all cut up. Now it says to mince my garlic. And fortunately, I have my mincer here. And politicians have been annoying, so I have somebody to beat up because I'm just pretty much fed up with all the politicians, no matter who they are. It doesn't matter if they're Democrats, or if they're Republicans, or if they're Libertarians, or if they're grassroots, or if they're, I don't know, Lancastrians, you know? I don't care. I'm them all because they're all acting kind of like a bunch of idiots so all of you in the political field here is your head This is your brain smushed. Call in the zombies. All right, now. Next, I have to zest this lemon, which we all know how much I really love zesting lemons. Not. And then I have to cut and juice it. So, I am not going to bore you with my zesting. I will come back once I have zested it. All right. It has been zested. I had to, I was reduced to having to use my special glove because I kept trying to zest my fingers and zested fingers are not a good thing. All right. So, cut two of the slices into quarters actually a little less than quarters, but we tend not to use a lot of like lemon wedges in this family. No, I should use this hand. I've started physical therapy this week and I am supposed to exercise this wrist. This is good and bad because it hurts, but it is getting looser, I think. All right, there we go. And there's my lemon juice. All right, so 
now I must pat my chicken breasts and season them. So let's do that. All right, so fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. And fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And now, let me see if my water is boiling. All right, so now I am shaking my smolta bread with um, olive oil. Now, normally I put the thing in first and then put the olive oil on top, but I put the olive oil in first so that I wasn't pouring the olive oil straight onto the bread because it seemed like that would be a good way to just kind of soak my bread. So. Then I am going to put it on a baking sheet and bake it for about eight to 10 minutes. So let's do that. All right, so now I'm going to cook my chicken. All right. For about five to seven minutes. We're going to give it a five right now, and then go from there on this side. Meanwhile, my pasta is over here boiling. My bread cubes are, my croutons, that's the word I was looking for, croutons are roasting or baking or whatever it is they're doing in there. And uh, after this, we will move on. All right, so now the meat is going to sit for a little bit. The croutons are out. The pasta is out. And now we're kind of doing the sauce. Wrapping up stuff. All right, so first, I must... Take my garlic, put it in my pan. Come on, get out of there. All right. And just a little bit of olive oil help it along. All right. So then I just let it get aromatic there. Then I add the cream. Come on, you. And half the water that I took out of the pasta and the butter, which I should have opened before, but I didn't, so uh, there we go. All right, stir that in. And uh, bring to a boil. Boil, boil, bubble, 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 boil in trouble. All right. So now that it's at a boil, I add pepper, salt. And stir it, let it get hot again. So 
so we're going to... And now, while this is getting hot, we are going to slice up the chicken and so that it can be added to the mix there. Where did I go with my knife? There it is. It says slice it into thin slices. So Slice, slice, slice. I'm trying not to burn my fingers here because the meat's still hot, you know. Now, I could use a fork, I guess, but Sometimes forks don't seem to work all that well. All right, now we slice this one. And we slice this one. Those two different slices as well as they should have. There we go. I have to admit, I've never made chicken scampi spaghetti. It sounded interesting, which is why I went for it. I keep looking for new recipes. This is probably not as thin as it's supposed to be, but it's as thin as it's going to get. So now, so now I'm going to add my chicken. Parmesan. Ah, come on. Hmm, that's starting to look good. Yummy. All right, now. I also add a little lemon juice to it and a pinch of salt. Now I'm going to use a little bit of sea salt. I've been using kosher salt with it up to this point, but you know, gotta, gotta change it a bit, up a bit. And now we will move it over, back over so I can plate it. All right, so now we kind of scooch it out onto the plate. Scooch, 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 and scooch it out onto that plate. Scooch, 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 and a little bit of it there, and scooch. I'm going to put a little bit more on mine since Daddy's appetite has not been all that great lately. But I'll put some sauce on his because it don't look like he got much sauce. All right, and now I am to add zest. Zest. And zest. And Parmesan. 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 And croutons. what it's supposed to look like. This is what it does look like. Now let's see what it tastes like. I'll be back. All right, our verdict on tonight's meal was very good. It came out very good. It, it was very enjoyable. 
and tomorrow I get this week's meal. So I will probably see you either Saturday or Sunday, or maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? Anyway, enjoy your evening, enjoy your meals, and I'll see you later.